Thank you, DistroTube. I just watched his video on the, I guess, notebook, note-taking app, uh, Joplin. Now, I actually really like Microsoft OneNote, at least for like how much nesting and notes and stuff you can put into it. But I mean, there are plenty of things to not like. I really like using it at work, but when I'm at home, I really like putting things in Markdown, having syntax highlighting, having all the features, bells and whistles with minimal um, verbosity that Markdown has compared to like something like LaTeX. I love Markdown. So when I use my notes in VimWiki, I really like that because it's like a wiki type document, but I don't really have a super huge use case for making a wiki for a lot of the stuff that I do. Um, I actually really prefer like OneNote or these notebook type things to hold all my stuff in various notebook categories, subcategories, subcategories, nesting, 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 and then actually note files. I really like that. Uh, whereas VimWiki, everything is a file, kind of like the whole Linux thing, everything's a file. So even just like my um, my index of all my links to all my other files, I would need something with multiple layers of just a dummy file that just has links to other files. So what I did is I imported that entire directory, my VimWiki directory into Joplin and moved everything around and organized it and ended up deleting a lot of those index pages that are just weren't necessary. I really like Joplin now. Uh, sorry, VimWiki, but it's all about Joplin now. So I love it because not only is it just for me better and more familiar and like uh, the whole type idea of using a notebook type system like this is more familiar and just e better for my uh, my use case than uh, VimWiki, but also because of all the things that DistroTube covered, which is like it syncs to a, a cloud storage platform. I mean, there are some open source um, cloud storage platforms you can use. I just put it on OneDrive because I got a terabyte on there for free and I don't really care. I don't have anything on there. And if you have my markdown notes, that's fine. I don't care. Um, but also, not only is this you know on cloud storage, just like OneNote would be, but you can have those notes on mobile. They don't look bad. You have this uh, interface here where you have all of your like your file tree your notes your documents you can toggle that you can toggle the notes off and then you have your markdown but a live preview right next to it kind of like how in this larb space system we could have like auto comp compilation of markdown documents to pdf as we, you know, we type the markdown document you save it it compiles again with the enter auto compiler script that luke talked about and that I also have on this system. But I really like this because it just does it for you. There's no scripts involved. It's just, boom, here's the, the output, and the output is pretty. Look at this. It's just like you know some R code for making um, diagrams. But if I wanted to add something, I could add you know some text, more text. Oh, look at that. It's already there. Boom. I love it. And then I could do this add a line, and it just compiles right in front of me, and you can see how it can make a pretty document. Um, but also, you can edit these things on your phone. You have some of the benefits of a GUI interface. I can take these notes, and if I have, say, so one thing I literally just did is I had a list of just a bunch of text items. You know, that they were touching the headers, and it was just a solid, like line, no line breaks, just like boom, 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 boom items. And I wanted to separate those from the headers because it's marked down. So to make everything display correctly, instead of like a line, you need to actually like put line breaks or make it a bullet point list. And so what I did was um, this. So everything was just like no, no breaks, like there's, there's no break and none of the bullets. And it, I don't want to have to manually type each of those those lines. That's where I would use like visual mode in Vim or something. And so what you can do with these um, Joplin notes, if you're using the graphical desktop version, which I am, I have a open right here, is I can use this and use an external editor, and it uses, I believe, your um, editor variable, which I have set to NeoVim, and I can open that, and then there, it's in Vim. I could do my quick editing, you know, save and close. It's still watching, close that, whatever, but it, that's how I edited this. So if I wanted to edit these things in Vim to do take advantage of those Vim features, I could do that. Now that's a little bit of the extra work in this graphical environment, but the graphical environment isn't the only one you have available to you. 
you have the mobile, which I probably would not be typing stuff on mobile unless it was like a quick to do item or something, which you have quick to do items, new to do. So I haven't played with all these features yet. I literally just downloaded this last night from the AUR and set up all of the integration with my um, uh, OneDrive. So I'm still figuring stuff out, but I'm really liking it so far. Um, do, 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 do. But you also have access to a command line version. Now I already remapped everything to using Vim keys because the default is like tabbing through stuff and I don't really like, I didn't really like the default keys. So I just grabbed um, the default template they have on uh, their documentation or GitHub or something. They have like a, a default template. It's a J it's just a, a JSON file and uh, you can just change the default keys. But um, you know, I can just do HJKL to navigate through the panes. And then when I want to edit a file, I can just um, I, is it enter here. Yeah, okay. So I can just enter on the document in the middle pane, um, or I can go to the, to the right pane and enter again. So pretty much enter on either of these two panes will let me edit the document in my editor, Vim, which in this case is useful because I don't need to open an external program or open another window. It's just already in the terminal. Um, and then even the, like the nested notebooks are over here, just awesome. All these different nested notebooks. Yeah, I really, I'm really liking Joplin. Um, yeah, I, I, I actually really like this. It's free and open source. It syncs with cloud hosting services. You got a command line, graphical desktop and mobile integration, and they all sync together. It's got markdown support. You can easily import a whole bunch of stuff. I just imported a markdown directory, which was my Vim wiki, just dragged and dropped my notes and I'm done. It only took me a few minutes to do this because I keep everything in plain text. It's awesome. But also you can easily transition from Evernote, which is this was designed to also easily take your stuff from Evernote in their proprietary format and boom, put it in here into markdown. Uh, you could also export to different formats like this. Like if you didn't have some of the stuff that we I have in um, this system where you can just easily uh, compile things to PDF with Pandoc, um, you could use this to take things to PDF or an HTML directory or uh, whatever. So what does the key map look like, you might ask? Um, I, I also got the dark mode on because I don't know why anyone who didn't use light mode anything ever. Um, Joplin. So I have, it's just a, a file named keymap.json. I just dropped the JSON string in and just changed these keys over here. That's the, all I did. I just made, you know, HJKL up and down instead of like page up or page down or whatever it was. And those are really the only ones I changed. Um, just more Vim like stuff because Vim, uh, yeah really, really liking this. And you can even use templates. Like you can have a folder in here like called templates or something, put in a markdown document and you can have template files. So this could actually be uh, feasible for some sort of templatable um, personal use case or even something like work. Or you could have like, um, like huge meta levels of notebooks, like one for personal, one for uh, work, one for business. And then in each of those have mm, several layers of nested notebooks and each notebook has notes. It's just, it's a lot. It is really, really cool. So check out Joplin. I am really happy that DistroTube made that video on it because that helped me to discover it and I really like it. So check it out.